my name is Meredith, and today we're going to learn about different types of Easter eggs. So in Ukrainian Easter tradition, there are two main types of Easter eggs. The sonki, that are the ones you're more familiar with. They've got kind of those patterns and designs all over them. And also kashinki, which are one solid color. And that's what we're going to learn how to make today. HCP TV! Ukrainian Easter tradition, the kashinki, are on the table at your Easter dinner, and the two youngest children will each pick up an egg and then smash them together, and whoever stays together the best and doesn't fall apart is the winner. So you're going to start off with a saucepan full of water and some eggs. So I have about a dozen here, but I think I'm going to start by hard boiling about six of them. So you just want to make sure that your saucepan is full of about three quarters of water, and then the water is going to just cover the eggs. So I'm going to put them in. And then we'll put them on the stove to boil. So we're going to do three different colors of dye today. So we're going to do beets that are going to make kind of a pink color. We're going to use turmeric that's going to make a yellow. And we're also going to use blueberries that are going to make a blue. We're going to start off by cutting up the beet, and then later we'll get to the turmeric and blueberries. So make sure that you have an adult help you, or an older brother or sister. You're just going to start by chopping up the beets. Be careful, they do stain your hands, so just be aware of that, oh, and everything they touch. When they're chopped up, you're then, then going to add them to another saucepan that's full of water. So I have one ready right here. And to make the pink color, you want to have about three cups of chopped up beets. Now we're going to do the blueberries. So again, you want about three cups of blueberries. So I always measure a cup is about what you can hold in your hand. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of smush them or cut them. So you can cut them in half if you feel like you are comfortable with a knife. But you also can just press on them with your hand or with your knife. And once they're smushed, you put them in your water. So to make our yellow dye, we're going to use turmeric. And for this, you're going to do about uh, three tablespoons just into a pot of water. So one, two, and three. You want to be really careful. This stains clothing a lot. So once you've put your plant material into your pot, Water, it can go on the stove to boil, but you sometimes want to add about two tablespoons of white vinegar and it'll help the dye set. You can buy dyes from your local craft store, but another really good place to look is actually at your grocery store or in your backyard. Roots, nuts, flowers, and plants make really good natural dyes for Easter eggs. So our eggs are done now, so we're going to let them sit for about 10 to 12 minutes, and that's just going to help their, um, them to cool down a little bit, and it will help the dye soak in later. So now that the eggs have sat for about 12 minutes, we're just going to gently scoop them out, and then um, pat them dry with a piece of paper. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the eggs into the dyes and they can rest there for about 30 minutes if you want a lighter color or up to an hour if you'd like a darker color. So this is the beets. So I'm going to put in two eggs to start off with and let them uh, rest in there so that they can turn pink. So now that we've waited about an hour, our eggs are ready to come out. You can see the beets have made it this really nice kind of pink color. So now we're going to add in um, the three that we're going to turn blue. And now the blue ones are ready. So we're just going to again scoop them out and not keep any blueberries that come out too. We don't need those. Oh, yep, yeah, a couple blueberries. And now we're going to use our turmeric dye to make the last couple of eggs yellow. Oh, it's such a pretty color. And now it's time to get out our yellow eggs. 
Oh wow. It's like a beautiful sunshine color. Oh, there's our other one. There we go. Ooh, a little brighter. And here's the finished product. They're really beautiful. A few are a little bit darker than the others, but we've got three beautiful kind of primary colors. Some of the blues, some yellow, and some pink red. So if you click the link below, it will take you to our website where you can see a chart of the different colors you can make. And then you can go to the grocery store and buy those different vegetables or nuts. Thanks for joining us and I really hope you enjoyed yourself. Don't forget to look below for the link that takes you to getting your badge and like and subscribe if you liked our videos. Go go watching ya!